I wanted to be in a band because I loved music, basically. Um, grew up with music all my life because my dad was a big music fan. Uh, and then started getting my own musical tastes around 13, 14, when I got into bands like Metallica. As soon as I did that, that was it. That was, that was for me. I wanted to be in a band. I think this band for me has always been special, even from day one, you know, just jamming out and um, doing pub gigs and stuff. We always kind of always had this feeling that there was something special there. Um, you know, and then in about 2003, 2004, there was kind of a bit of a feeding frenzy over us. And as soon as we started doing proper touring with, you know, backing up a, a debut album and stuff, I think that kind of, that was the moment where it actually kind of, you know, proved to us that we did have something special, you know, because that debut record went ballistic and we did global touring for about three years, so, yeah. If the band didn't work out, um, I was quite a keen sports person growing up, especially in school. Um, so I would like to think that I probably would have just kind of pursued that. Uh, but music took over quite dramatically from the age of about 16, 17 and uh, all, all the kind of the sports playing went out the window. I used to feel nervous and anxious about putting music out there, but now it's just, it's you know, music is something that obviously me and my best mates in the band, we create, you know what I mean? So that's not a nervous thing, that's an enjoyable thing. Um, it's not, you know, you can't always tell how people are going to react to it and what they're going to say. So in that sense, it's a little bit nerve wracking, but as long as we always please ourselves first, then that's all that matters for us, really. Yeah, we've um, experienced a couple of crazy things on tour, like really you know, big things. We were part of the uh, 2000 and, um, what was it, 2011 tsunami and earthquake in Japan in March, just recently gone the two year anniversary. Um, so yeah, that was scary, stuff like that, you know, being part of something so massive and so scary. So that was one, one point on tour that we didn't think we were going to come back. It was scary as fuck. Uh, I think the most emotional I've ever been on stage was in um, the Cardiff Motor Point Arena in 2010 when we did our headline show there. And it was just, you know, growing up as a kid, that's where I used to go see all the big bands play, like Metallica. Um, we've seen tons of bands there, you know what I mean, Slipknot and stuff like that. So to be on the other side of the, the barrier was, was, was great, you know what I mean? All the family and friends were there. And we'd played Cardiff shows for years before that, but I just think, I don't know, getting to that point where there's nowhere else to really go as a live band in our country where we're from, you know what I mean? And it was, nice. it was a beautiful moment, you know, all the family was there, my little, my eight, eight month old baby was there at the time, and like that, so it was really cool. It was a nice, nice feeling. Um, 15 year old self would probably think kind of not much different, really. I think I've always kind of, from the age of 14 is when I really kind of wanted to kind of be in a band and um, and that's all I ever really did there. And I kind of I continued kind of kind of being quite good academically and continuing my sports like rugby playing and stuff like that. But obviously that kind of just whittled away. So I just think um, my 15 year old self would be super proud and would probably say, "Told you so."